Hey guys, welcome back to the Foundry Cast, celebrating Retro Month. I'm Cyrus. I'm Zach. Retro Game Month, and yeah. I have a game that won't play. So I've got a bottle of uh, iceberg alcohol and a um, name brand that I won't mention. A, a swab, a cotton swab. Yes, cotton swab. Um, this works in a pinch, but that's not the way you're supposed to clean your games, as the, the elite nerds might tell you. Um, there is something still so great about having blowing into game. the cartridge does something. It does. It does. It's corrosion on the leads. Also, blowing in helps. It's from a. It's a spiritual. It is a spiritual. It's a, it's That's a what I was going to say. Cleansing. You you don't take your your game pad, your laptop, and then oh my game's not playing well. You don't blow into the speaker well, port of the phone. That's what I'm saying. There's something great about having something cartridge based. So yeah, we're playing. Uh, we're playing Ninja Turtles. Well, it is technically. Let me look at the name because it's one so of those where it's eight, eight minutes long. Teenage yeah, Mutant Ninja Turtles Two: The Arcade Game. Yeah. So this is one of the first ones that's actually based off of the arcade game that you could play, and uh-huh. still white screen of death. We'll give it a try, and we'll be right back, and we'll pl- actually play this game. I'll tell you what, I'll kick us on over. Uh, but yeah, so you guys can see what we're seeing. There we go. And it's a good, legit two player <laughs> yeah. digital game. That's well. why we're playing, you know, we're trying to play two hey, player. Be careful, games. you're in the fire, man. Look out. Ah! Oh, oh, no, I'm fine. There's not a huge number of uh, two player games on the NES, actually, which is unfortunate. Two player simultaneous games, that is. Who are you playing? I'll play mm-hmm. whoever. Uh, all right, I'll take I'll take Don because he's got the staff and his longer. Because I like Leo. <laughs> I was gonna let you have Leo. I think we both agree that Leo is great. He's got but two it, swords versus a single staff. Yes, yeah, uh, Mikey, two, Mikey, Mikey, Mikey falls. falls. He's so cute. So yeah, this is a adaption. This is two, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles two. However, it's an adaption of the first arcade game. And it's a pretty ah, faithful adaptation. It is. It, it's they did a surprisingly good job. On the NES with this game. It's way better. I mean, the first Ninja Turtles game really... I don't know. It, it had a feel to it. It's a game. It's its not awful, but it's not... Yeah. A, a beat-em-up style game works better for this property, is what I'll say. I like how large size the turtles are for the environment. Sure. I think uh, Ninja Turtles 1, they felt really small and puny. Let yeah. go of me, yeah, foot the, soldier! The sprite size is really nice. Um, it's not as big as the arcade, but you're not going to get that on NES. Uh, We've got um, a lot of flicker. Sure. Which is to be expected when there's this much going on at once. Yeah, I, was ta- I talked a couple times when we played Mario 3 about how it really pushes that console. Whoa. This game tries to push the console, but it doesn't fully work. Ow! Because... Why do you remind me about the balls? I don't know. I assume you knew about them. You're on ball. You're on 24/7 ball. Alert. Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. Yeah. This is this is. They did have some uh, in-game tie-ins <laughs> to Pizza Hut. Yeah. Was a it, couple places. Was it? In, wasn't there a, like a coupon for Pizza Hut in the instruction manual or something for this game? I wouldn't doubt if it. If I recall, something like that. Ow. But then in the film, Pizza Dude's got 30 seconds. In the film, was it not Domino's? Or am I making that up? It's been a long time since I've seen the movie. Well, it wasn't Hungry Howie's. I know that. <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't. It OJ wasn't. Mc, Little Caesars. OJ McFlanahan's no. Pizza and Tap Room or whatever. If that's a real place, I apologize for mentioning you. OJ McFlanahan. OJ McFlanahan's Pizza. Because that, when you want pizza, that's a name you would look for. OJ McFlanahan. And usually, old man McFlanahan up the street's first name is OJ. Sure, OJ McFlanahan. I make the pizzas, don't you know? How many Pizza Huts are there in this apartment building? Why are there Pizza Huts in the apartment it's building? It's just a flyer. And, oh, I, I thought it was a sign. It looks like it's an arrow. No, we're in an apartment. Yeah, I thought it was a sign pointing like Pizza Hut down the hall, which would be a great feature. Like if, yeah. if do you were shopping you live, for an apartment. You live over the Legends Apartments where they have Pizza Hut. <laughs> they got the Pizza Hut right there yeah. down the hall. That sounds right up my alley. They got their own theater and a Pizza Hut. Sure. In, in the cartoon... Only, like, Donatello and Michelangelo got to really whip off on stuff. Oh, God. Yeah, because they had non-lethal, non-lethal weapons. That's what I always liked about G.I. Joe, is they eventually introduced the the robotic troopers, so they had somebody to actually shoot with their lasers. What are they called? April, Viper? don't worry. We got you. April, hey, what's we got up, you, We got you, we got you, we got you. Hey, got I was just wondering, April, hey. how do yeah, you even huh. fit in that little costume? Yeah, no, it's, it doesn't look comfortable at all. No, no, that's got to be really yeah. uncomfortable. Oh, no. Don't, don't bother ah. me. Talk to April. 
you you let those foot soldiers. You're talking to Megan go. Fox over here. Come on. No, I'm talking to April O'Neil from the first movie. An actual ginger with freckles. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. Is this Rocksteady, right? Yeah, I Is always it, get him yeah. confused. Rocksteady. Woo. Ouch. Uh, I just kicked him hitting him or not. <laughs> Oh, just hit him! I can't. I'm just to, hit him! I'm to get off, of his, off of his level. The old classic, if they start blanking, you know you're doing damage. That's a classic tell. I, I wish that was in, like, Skyrim or something. Hey, excuse me. Hey, sure. hey. He just flew out the window. We were talking to her. We weren't we were at all, actually. She was, she was mostly concerned about the fire. So really, he saved her life. Got her out of that flaming building. We were too busy fighting. To we save were. We, you know, we the was like, out. what are you guys doing? Look out, look out. Whoa. Get her out of here. How come no one's called the law on anything that's happening out here on this public street? It would be concerning. If I looked out the window and I saw April O'Neil screaming on a TV screen in the window, and then some giant turtles wailing on some robots. You know, that TV, Wait, uh, that's, that's a pretty good looking oh, TV. Oh, 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 oh. oh, I was trying to hit it with it. You stole it. Wait, 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 I can do this. Burr. Oh, I missed it. This is a nice TV. Oh, what's, like it, what's, what's that uh, uh, monitor there to the left? Yeah. What's in the corner? That's there to you know, help you monitor. Monitor stuff. Hey! Oh, sorry! My bad. I'm a, I'm a turtle. Even though it's... And, and then this was a really cool element for the game. Yeah, three... It really adds a dimensional... Because it's not parallax. It's just moving at isometric. a different angle. It's, yeah, isometric, but the way it moves backwards, it does feel like there's more depth to the street. So were you, were you a big turtle fan? Uh, my cousin. That dude, if he knew then what he knows now, he had every original turtle, figures, villain, vehicle, all of it. He would have twenty thousand dollars in collectible toys today. I mean, even out of the box, they, he had yeah. it all. And I remember being very jealous, coming to spend a couple weeks with them over the summer in Texas. And I was like, man, I wish I had these, dude. But he was over it by then, so it's just this pile of green turtles. Turtles, yeah. I, I remember I had Pizza Hut. Yeah, there Pizza Hut. We're not sponsored by. Oh, oh, we're not sponsored by Pizza. We're not sponsored by Pizza. Um, no, I had a, a, a few of the toys, but I, re I can remember, like, distinctly getting into Ninja Turtles, like, in the spring of that year, or whatever. I love the cartoon. Buying some stuff, and then by the end of the year, being so uninterested. You know, it, it's <laughs> one of those things where you can realize, it was over the course of a year, like, yeah. going from Turtle Mania to thinking it was the lamest thing ever. Well, the, there was some cool... Alright, we get to continue. Ooh, look at that game over screen. Look at That's spooky. Ah! Still a quarter muncher. I, I don't know. I think that's an interesting, you know, just from a game design perspective, to take a, a quarter munching arcade game and put it onto a console. Um, oh, did you see that? What? Look how bad that separation yeah, that is. That, there. Because from here, I think it, it yeah, comes back, back over. To the wow. Side, yeah. That was intense. Um, Look out for the Pizza Hut signs. Whoa, I didn't. I fell for it again. But I don't know, like, the... I, I'm of the opinion that if you're good enough at a, at a console game, you should be able to beat it. Beginning to end. At least without continuing. You know, if you're great, then maybe even without dying. This game is impossible. A game like this, yeah, I don't see how you could possibly ever beat it without taking quite a bit of damage. Because it still has... The, so I think that's interesting, like... I know, like, Golden Axe on Genesis, the same way, like, why why have it be so difficult? I, I don't need to worry about quarters. I get the same feeling when I play, like, uh... Well, this was a time when they couldn't necessarily make a ten-level game. Right. They could only make a five-level game. Very and the true. way they make it more <sighs> difficult again. is to have it be much harder. You extend the gameplay out by making it more difficult. Yeah, and then your replayability games, is that you have to replay. Games these days still do that sometimes, which is incredibly frustrating. But, um, Bebop? He just kind of just shows up, doesn't he? I get near him, he hits me. 
This is what I'm talking about. This is, this is ridiculous. This isn't fair. This isn't fair difficulty. Oh, this is just silly. Alright, I got him. I got him wall. I, I, oh, I had him against the wall there. I had him locked up. Back up, Downey. Back up, Downey. Oh, we got we him. We got him. Woo! You, you got it. Turtle power! Oh, I win the hole anyway. Oh, sewer level. It wouldn't be a Ninja Turtles game without a sewer level. Uh, yeah, you want to wrap up here? I mean, any any final thoughts you want to talk about on Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game? Right. It is a huge improvement over Ninja Turtles 1. Absolutely. Which I think kind of goes without saying, but it's one of the first games that was a very faithful, um, not necessarily evolution, but incorporation into home market. Yeah. Um, you actually felt like you were playing a version of the arcade game. Yeah. Most of the time, the conversion was so bad as to be laughable. Yeah, Here, visually, visually you're close. not getting it, but like gameplay-wise, yeah, it feels like you're playing that game. Yeah, they couldn't really add the, the voice acting to it as well. Uh, here we go, Mousers. Mousers! Yeah, I think this is this is a this is a great uh, is, this is a game where I would describe it as a love letter to the fans. This is a great game for. It feels like a Saturday morning cartoon. It feels like you're playing the Ninja Turtles, whereas the first game really I don't know that it does all the time. No, uh, has a good feel to it. Ow! Get off me! Oh! So yeah, we'll keep whomping on some mousers here, but we'll wrap up. Um, thank you for watching uh, as we play Retro Games for Retro Game Month here at thefoundrycast.com. I'm Zach. I'm Cyrus. And we will catch you guys next time when we play something else old, maybe on NES or something else. Who knows? All right, get him, get him, get him, get him. Yeah.